I'm Smil, and today I'm gonna bring you to witness the most amazing event in the natural world. We're gonna go all the way up to Alaska to witness a thousand pound bears feeding on salmon. An event so rare that thousands of people made the journey that's gonna take us two days to get up there to a park with no roads. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and let's go! Welcome to the premiere brown bear viewing area in the world the biggest brown bears in the world all in position patiently waiting for the salmon return a short window of four to six weeks each summer contributes for the highest density of bears ever documented getting our cameras ready for the right moment Catching a salmon, it's not easy, but necessary. Success rate at fishing directly correlates with their chances of survival the harsh Alaskan winter. Some of those male bears who reach over a thousand pounds increasing their body weight up to 40%. Thankfully, there is enough fish for everyone. They tend to use different strategies of fishing. Some stay on top of the waterfalls. Others wait for the currents to wash off the remains. Spectacular to see how tolerant the bears are with each other. But not always. Having the best spot is important. the jungle the strongest the biggest and the fittest gets the best spots the loser well they have to try again so being aware of your surroundings is important some of these bears who eat close to 100 pounds of fish each day that's literally all they do they eat take naps and come back Thanks to the platforms, we can safely observe the spectacle of nature. But let's start from the beginning. So we took a plane from Anchorage to King Salmon. If you wonder what they do with old planes that are shaky, this is what happens to them. They go to Alaska. After an hour scenic flight. All right, so we arrived in the lodge. Next one, we're taking this guy out. Never been on a float plane before in my life. Extreme fears below the front right seat, non smoking flight. If you guys got any questions? If I touch something, does that affect the flight? Yeah, so just don't push on those. Yeah. Don't feel any pressure. Use yeah. It. Same thing with you. Okay. There's something very cool about float planes and the fact that they launch from the river or a lake. It's pretty cool. Interesting fact is that every sixth person in Alaska has a pilot license. Since the majority of the state is unreachable by road, flying is the only way to get places. As soon as we land it... Oh, there it is, behind the yellow plane. The instinct kicked in. So you call this bear gym here, huh? That being one of the biggest bears I've ever seen in my life so far, up at this point. Even the crew there being very respectful and cautious with these apex predators. And don't get me wrong, this event right here is extremely rare. Like, it only can happen in a very, very short amount of time when the salmon runs. Other than that, this is very dangerous. You cannot be that close to a bear. So as soon as you get there, everyone is rushed to attend bear school. Right up this trail, you see a plywood thing leaning against the tree. It looks kind of shaped like a bear with a big old buck. That is 50 yards from us. That is the absolute closest we deliberately are to a bear. We keep trying to get the bears to come in this orientation. They won't listen to us. They will get closer than that to you in Brookskin. 
We give them There's the, the right second of one way. behind. We get off the road, we get off the trail as far as we safely can. Um, and I do mean as far as you safely can. I thought it was. And allow them to pass. Once they are 50 yards up the, the road or trail, you can return. Oh, them he's, on your way. he's diverting. If the bear is grazing along the road or sleeping, we need to back up. up and give them 50 yards and wait until they move. We don't uh -huh. pass them. Um, Lately, we've had a lot of people get too close to bears on purpose. They're trying to get their shots. They're not really paying much attention to what they're supposed to be doing. Our bears are remarkably tolerant. That tolerance, is, that tolerance only goes so far. Eventually, it's going to run out. It's going to be a very bad day for one of those visitors. It's going to be a bad day for Brooks Camp. It's going to be a really bad day for that bear. Please don't be that person. Um, the next most important thing is what we do with our food. That video tells you you can only carry plain water with you. It does not tell you what to do with the rest of it. Um, you're going to keep it in a food cache. There's one right here next to the visitor center. There's one in the campground. There's one out at Brooks Mall. And they do this so they can feast on the all-you-can-catch salmon buffet. In the early summer, the bears catch salmon swimming upstream to spawn. But in the fall, the bears become more reliant on dead and dying salmon. Quite, uh, quite an adventure. Um, where's everyone coming from? Uh, right. Germany. 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 Uh, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Tennessee. Tennessee. All right. I think that's it. Cool. What about you guys? New Orleans. New Orleans. Same. Bulgaria. 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 Thanks to those platforms, you are able to safely observe those giant bears in their natural habitat. And mama bear teaching one of the most vital surviving skills. Other ones waiting for that juicy salmon. Well, not all of them. Some still drink milk. Take naps. Or eat their fish in solitude. Three takeaways out of this video that I want you to have. Always make noise when you're in bear country, don't carry any food or scented items, and give the right of way. Feel so blessed and grateful to be able to be here, to fulfill my dream, and to observe this mesmerizing event. Every time I go in nature, that leaves me very humble. It puts me in my place. The sheer beauty of the vast wilderness and its inhabitants is very grounding. Katmai National Park was my 52nd national park out of the 63 on my journey to visit every national park in the US. And every time I come back, that reminds me of our role as humans. We're not the strongest or the fastest, but we are the smartest and probably the most intelligent. So we can help each other by sharing and informing and observing, or most importantly, by respecting these creatures. I'm just about to leave Brook Falls at Katmai National Park and by far this is one of the most interesting and exhilarating experiences in my life. I love it out here and I loved how uh, everything is organized. I loved the boardwalks, the rangers, the precaution matters and that the bear don't even care that you're here because there's so much salmon that there's enough for everyone. So there's like constantly bears everywhere. Right now, a bunch of them behind me right there. You can see fishermen's are right with the bears and like probably 30 bears. And it's time to go back. It's been like six hours here, something like that. What an experience. This one is taking a nap. Well, a bunch of people are taking pictures of it.
<laughs> so it's extreme though there are like two of them sleeping right there mother with cubs and it's extreme it's very very That was one of those days that changed my entire life. Please follow my journey, subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. Thank you for watching.